Hey guys, it's Ricardo back on the Watch With Us channel. And in today for review, we have this watch from the micro brand Visitor. Now, the first time I was actually made aware of this brand was I'd say a few years ago. Uh, there's an event, a micro brand kind of centered event down in DC called um, District Time. And I met uh, the guys behind the brand and it gave me an opportunity to see their watches and now I'm kind of happy I finally get a chance to actually check out one of their watches and in today we have the Dunshore Shallows. Now the Dunshore Shallows in many ways it's a dive watch um, but <laughs> that's pretty much the the most generic way you could you could kind of describe it because after that it pretty much it's kind of hard to describe um, without having it in your hands uh, now in terms of some specs on this watch the watch comes in at 44 millimeters from left to right so that's on the thicker portion here um, if you're talking about just a bezel you have a diameter of 41 millimeters your lug to lug is 51 millimeters. You have 200 meters of water resistance, which is aided by this screw down crown right here. If you go to the back, you have this C line engraving here. And on the bottom portion engraved here is Visitor Watch Company. And on the top portion is Dunshore Shallows which is the name of the watch. Case back is screwed in. Right here, it comes on this 22 millimeter strap, which has a little taper down to 20 millimeters here at the buckle. So 22 millimeter lug width here. Thickness on the watch is 15.6 millimeters. And in terms of the case construction, which is really just so interesting on this watch, you have mostly brushed and really sharp edges with this nice little portion of polish, if you can see my finger here, right below the bezel, which adds just this nice extra bit of, of extra dynamic to the watch. Um, instead of it being this fully kind of satin brushed, you have this nice little piece of of polishing here which really captures the light when you wear the watch you also get polishing here on the buckle which is signed on the underneath here visitor watch company now there are five different versions of this watch and in we have the tangerine fission as you can tell by this really nice orange dial you have the brand name here at three o'clock. This, as you can tell, is just a time only watch. So there's no date. And that's aided by a Myota 9039 movement inside. As you can see here, hands are polished with that nice amount of loom on the hands. You also get loom here on the 120 click bezel here at the six the nine and the 12 and these little pips from 12 from 60 all the way to 20 marking the minutes off nice little feature clicks are really nice and sharp on this watch I'll set that up there as i said this is a screw down crown um, when you unscrew it you basically go from winding on the first position and Bam, hacking and time setting on the next position. I'm gonna screw that back in. Now in terms of wearability, I'm gonna to toss this on my seven and a half inch wrist. Just so you guys can see how this wears. Um, it has a nice big look. Um, that case back, which is curved, really hugs the wrist. So even though it comes in at 15.6 millimeters of thickness, 
the watch still wears pretty well. And it's a statement. I mean, besides the in-your-face orange color, just look at all those edges and the, the, the way the light catches the polishing. I mean, this is one very interesting watch. Now, the guys over at Visitor, they sent me all the straps that actually, in terms of options that you can get with this watch. So you have here the steel bracelet with the straight end links. And it is a butterfly construction with the brand logo right there. Then here you have the other strap option. You have the leather here on the back end and kind of this canvasy textile feeling material here on the top portion with black stitching and another rubber strap here but this one comes all in white and nice little feature right here you have the brand name on the underside now overall I've had the watch in for about I'd say about two weeks and I have to say, though, it's just such an interesting watch. I mean, you, you're you're gonna be it's gonna be very difficult for you to find anything that even comes close to this look. Uh, there's just so much going on here with the case, but it it works. <laughs> it's I know that sounds crazy, but it really just works. The touch of polishing, the the all these different facets. I meant I did forgot to mention that this actually comes with drilled lug holes. I mean, even the lugs, look at how they just extend from the case. It, it, it's, it's like, I don't know if you've watched those old Egyptian movies where the Pharaoh is brought in um, and they, they, you have the guys kind of holding up his throne as he's walked in. That's what this kind of feels like. It's like this nice chunky watch and it has these real small um, lugs, but it just works. Now, in terms of negatives, I'm gonna be honest, there aren't that many. Um, one thing I do wish uh, was that the loom was applied a little bit more evenly on the markers. But other than that, everything on this design just works. I mean, uh, I, I for there was a second where I thought maybe that cross hatching there with the black wouldn't work, but then I think of how this watch would look without that and it just wouldn't seem right. Um, in terms of just a design statement, this watch just works. I mean, the added loom here you get on the bezel, just the way the design is just, just throughout the watch. I mean, every aspect, the touch of polishing that continues from the sides, you get it on the hands. I mean, the colors, as I stated earlier, this comes in other color options. Um, I was sent the tangerine fission, but you also have an option for an iron jade. There's a seal teal, a black sand, and a shark side. So those are the different colors options that you can get with this watch. But overall guys, I think this is a great looking watch in terms of pricing the watch if you decide to get it with the black rubber the textile strap or the white rubber so basically choice of either this or this or this the watch comes in at 750 dollars if you decide that you want to get the watch with the bracelet here it'll come in at 850 dollars so that kind of breaks down in terms of cost. That's that's right there around micro brand costs. Um, but I have to say, in terms of what you're getting here for the design, um, I think you're getting a lot for for that that amount. Um, this is definitely not a watch. I think it's gonna gonna suit everyone. But for someone who's looking for something just a little bit different, I think this is the watch for you. But yeah, guys, that completes the review. I hope you enjoyed my review of the Dunashore Shallows. 
If you have any questions, comments, just drop them down there in the comment section below. Uh, definitely follow us on Instagram, watch with us channel. Um, you could also find us on Clubhouse, which is just a great place to really have a back and forth and discussion with, with all Rochfram. Um, you could find us at Watch With Us or just do a search for Ricardo Cime and you'll find me on Clubhouse. But guys, thank you once again for tuning in. And we'll catch you next week with the next review on the channel. Bye.